The new Firefox Quantum has quicker speeds and a fresh new look. In this video, I will show you how to customize the user interface to suit your needs. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Some of these methods will work with older versions of Firefox as well. If you want to make sure that you have Quantum installed, head over to the menu bar. If it's not visible, you can tap the Alt key on your keyboard or just right click on any open space at the top and select menu bar from the drop down menu. Click on help, then select about Firefox. If you have Quantum installed, it will say Firefox Quantum. If you're new to Firefox, I'll throw a link in the description if you want to download a copy for yourself. We'll start out with an easy one. If you want to quickly remove items from the toolbar, just right click on that item and select remove from toolbar. And now it's gone. You can even get rid of empty space in the toolbar by right clicking on the empty space and selecting remove from toolbar again. And now there's less empty space. To see all the customization options, select the three bar menu icon in the upper right, then select customize. This will open a new tab with more customization options. Most functions on this page involve left clicking with your mouse and dragging the elements. You can remove items from the toolbar by dragging and dropping into the main area below. For example, the search bar is redundant since internet searches can also be done in the address bar. So I'll move my cursor up to search, left click, and drag it down below. Adding items to the toolbar works the same way, but in reverse. From the main area, just left click and drag those items to where you want them on the toolbar. There's a couple items that I want on the toolbar, so I'll left click library and drag it back to where it was, just to the right of the download icon. And I'll go back down here and grab uBlock and add it just to the right of the address bar. There's also an overflow menu to the right for tools that you use but don't want them to take up space on the toolbar. Just left click and drag the items to the box. So I'll go over here and grab the bookmarks menu and drag it over and developer. For many people, the add-ons they used to use no longer work with Quantum. That also includes certain themes. Themes are a great way to change the appearance of Firefox. At the bottom of the page, click on themes. Quantum includes three themes that are pre-installed, default, light, and dark, which is easier on the eyes. Dark Fox is one that I installed a couple years ago that still works with Quantum. They also have a few that are recommended. You can preview them by just moving your cursor over each one. This is what a web browser renaissance looks like. Space Fantasy and Pastel Gradient. And below that you can select Get More Themes to see what else they have to offer. They have thousands of themes that you can choose from. Back on the customized Firefox page, you can add or remove the bookmarks bar and menu bar by selecting the toolbars button at the bottom of the page and just ticking them on or off. You can also control the size of the items in the toolbar by selecting density, normal is the default, compact makes them smaller, and touch makes them just slightly larger than normal. Some people miss the title bar that used to appear at the top of the page. There's an option here to tick it back on. And now you'll see the title bar at the top of the page. I don't like it, so I'll take it back off. When you are done customizing Firefox to make it perfect for you, in the lower right, select Done. You will now see that your changes have taken effect. Quantum has many new features. The best, I think, is the screenshot tool. For me, it was hidden on the address bar in the Page Actions menu. The screenshot tool works great to capture and save any part of a web page. To bring it out of hiding, go back to the Page Actions menu, right click on Take a Screenshot, and select Add to Address Bar. And there it is. To remove something from the address bar, just right click on the item and select Remove from Address Bar. And now it's gone. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you're looking for add-ons that are compatible with Firefox Quantum, check out this recently released video. If you also use Chrome, there's an entire series featuring extensions that make that browser better too. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more tech-related stuff. 
from Tech Gumbo.